are the cameras on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro fake or dysfunctional? There are a lot of people who have made it a fashion to check the secondary camera of a smartphone to see whether it's working or not. Uh, though I don't really say that uh, every smartphone comes with a dual camera on which the secondary camera is a fake one which doesn't work. But that had happened a lot of times with the Chinese smartphones with those brands which haven't made really a good mark. But at Xiaomi, you need to trust it a bit. Here there's a dual lens camera combination uh, with a 12 megapixel f2.2 camera and a 5 megapixel f2.0 camera. So the secondary sensor here, this one is the one that takes the details for the bokeh effect or the portrait effect. So let's check it out live on this video to know whether they are actually fake or do they work. So this is the camera application where you see the photo mode that is by default and this is the portrait mode where uh, you would actually get to know whether it works or not. Right now it says depth effect uh, so I'll take out one object off and I'll just play with this one single object. Uh, this is the android toy and uh, now it shows depth effect and I'll take a picture without even focusing. So that is done. Now the secondary sensor here, the secondary camera on the top, that is what I'll cover here. So for the first example, let's, let's go to the first picture. Uh, here you see that uh, this, when I did not cover the secondary camera with the finger, there was a good bokeh that was uh, seen here. That is a good blur happened with the background uh, uh, objects. Now this is when I put the finger on the secondary sensor. So there is a lot of details that are present here. That means uh, the bokeh is not that right. And that happened when I placed the finger on the secondary sensor. There is a difference. Uh, when you talk about some phones like the OnePlus 5 or OnePlus 5T, the camera application would ask you to remove the finger or remove the obstruction that is coming on the secondary camera. That is not happening on this phone, but that doesn't matter really. Because in the end, when you're capturing the picture with the portrait mode, you'll notice that the details are still retained. That means the secondary camera is not functional when you're placing the finger on it. Which actually means that the secondary camera is actually doing some job there but then when you are trying to restrict it with your finger, it doesn't work. Let me take another quick capture for you to uh, check this. This is a small toy. Uh, let me place it here and then we'll try to take a quick photo. And this is again on the same portrait mode. And it would say depth effect. So I'll place here, I'll try to focus it now and this is the capture taken. Now I'll place the finger on the secondary sensor. So this is uh, the finger being placed on the secondary sensor. Now I'll again focus it. So right now in front of you I've taken two captures. Uh, first let me show you the one without placing the finger. So this is uh, the object that is uh, fully focused, well focused and this, this is the background where you see that uh, there's a lot of uh, bokeh effect uh, that is the blurring that has happened here even on the toy you see there and uh, this also on the showpiece and on the gizmo times logo now this was on the one where there was no restriction on the secondary camera now this is the one where i had placed the finger and you see there are a lot of details that means this was similar to how you take with a single camera which again means the same conclusion the secondary camera is totally functional it does work pretty well in uh, checking out the background details checking out the distance between them and then actually helping in the bokeh effect but then there were a lot of questions because when you place the finger on the secondary camera there is nothing that would say that you need to move or there is something obstructing the view and that is why people didn't trust Xiaomi saying that uh, this might be a fake secondary camera that happened with a few Chinese brands that is why they did come up with the conclusion that this also doesn't work but then if you take the actual samples and see it does work. Anyway, I'm attaching the pictures in this video so that you'll have a better understanding of uh, what I'm trying to say. And uh, this is the one where the finger was placed and uh, there are details retained from the background as well. So my conclusion is that the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro has an actually well functioning dual camera setup and it's not a fake one and it works perfectly well. So if you have any other questions or if you have any such doubt you could try it by yourself by placing a finger and then taking a capture and seeing whether it actually makes a difference or not. So this was a quick demo of whether the 
secondary camera works or the dual camera is functional on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro. If you have any other questions, do let me know and subscribe to Gizmo Times for more. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for our next video.